So now the toolbars are much more customizable and really more customizable than in any program I've seen as of late. <laughs> So the next feature I wanna talk about is below the color palette, and that is going to be the status bar here. So first off, we've got this little layer indicator, and this is gonna let you know what layer you're working on currently. Also, it is a button, so when I click on it, it's going to pop up the brand new layers and objects dialog. Before, in previous versions, there was a layers dialog and there was an objects dialog. Now they are combined into one. More on that later. Also on the status bar, whenever you have multiple pages drawn here on your canvas, yes, Inkscape 1.2 does now support multiple pages, also known as artboards if you're coming from Illustrator. And whenever you have multiple pages activated here using the page tool, which we're gonna get into, you're going to see which page exactly you're working on down here. And if you wanted to make adjustments to this status bar, you can go to Edit, Preferences, Come up top here to interface. And if I come down here towards the bottom, you're gonna see status bar. You can show or hide certain elements here. So for example, that new layer selector, we can show or hide that. And I'll just keep that shown. So while we're here inside of preferences, let me come over here to toolbars. So now the toolbars are much more customizable and really more customizable than in any program I've seen as of late. So for example, you've got your list of icons here, your tools, and you can toggle these tools on or off simply by clicking them. So for example, that select tool, when I click on that, it'll toggle it off and hide it. I can hide the shape tools if I want. So that's just one way to clean up your toolbar there. You can also change the toolbox icon size. So right now I have it kind of enlarged. You can shrink it down to 100%, or you can crank it all the way up to 300% and make it huge. So I know some of you are using 4K monitors. This is probably a breath of fresh air. There are not many programs out there that will properly allow you to adjust your icon size for 4K monitors. And also just the increments you can do this in, it's in like 6% increments, 5% increments. Uh, so that is again, very granular there and it allows for a lot of control. So your control bar icon size here, that's gonna control the size of these icons up top. So if I bring this down, it's gonna shrink them down. And if I bring it up, it's going to enlarge them. So this is really cool, the fact that they have these two separated, you can adjust them separately. And they both allow for very precise changes, so small percentage increments at a time. If I come over here now to theming, this is going to be some further customization. So you'll remember that in the welcome screen, we changed the color of our canvas. We changed the color of the actual UI using the dark theme. Uh, we've also got some contrast options. You can change all those here. So for example, the GTK theme right now is set to high contrast. We can change this to Windows 32 if we want. User system theme. So just a bunch of different themes available here. High contrast inverse or high contrast. And if I come over here to the font scale, we can scale the font size in the UI. I'm not 100% sure what fonts this is scaling because I can't see any fonts around here that are actually scaling, so I can honestly not tell you uh, what that actually scales, but there is a slider there for that. And we also have a contrast slider. This is actually really cool. So if I turn this down, it's gonna reduce the amount of contrast here between the background color and all the icons and stuff. So if you don't like having a bunch of contrast, you can turn it down. Otherwise, you can keep this cranked all the way up to 10. And let me just go with the high contrast inverse, which is basically dark mode. So you can change the icons that you wanna use, multicolor, and we can use symbolic. So as long as you have symbolic checked here, you can change the actual color of the icons. This is actually from, I believe, Inkscape 1.1, so this isn't totally brand new for this version, but just a little tip there for you guys to be able to customize your user interface further. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.